Hello, hello. Hi, my Capricorns. Welcome to Queen Prophetess channel, where I practice cardamancy. Cardamancy is the art of divination through playing cards. Today, I'll be doing your weekly read using the Cosmopolitan deck you see here. This comes from the authentic casino playing cards. I was able to find these at the Dollar Tree. And now I am featuring a one card read from my new Black Tarot. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I just bought these last week from the awesome Honey Pot here in Atlanta, Georgia. If you can scan that QR code, you can get their information and go to their website. Jane was an amazing help there at Honey Pot here on, in Atlanta on Euclid Street and Little Five Points. So we'll be doing a one card draw from the Black Tarot. Now, I have them still in the box, but I did shuffle them very well this morning. So, we're going to just put those out there like that and like so, okay? I am still learning how to position my camera so that you can see everything. This is the box my tarot cards came into, came in, and of course it had the deck and the booklet that came with the deck. I will be using this booklet for the time being until I get very familiar with my new tarot deck. So the one card reads, I will, when I pull the card, I will be using this booklet to give you the, the, the um, card meaning, but I will definitely re be receiving from the Holy Spirit the more in-depth meaning of that one card pull today, Capricorns. Okay. With that being said, Capricorns, let's put that deck over there, ready for the one card pull. And let's start your reading off with a prayer. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Father God, Son, Jesus, you are welcome in this place to speak to me through these cards for the Capricorns this week of March 7th through March 14th. What message do you want to give the Capricorns this week? What is it important for them to know for this week? What is the important thing that you need Capricorns to hear this week, Holy Spirit? Speak through me. Speak through me, Holy Spirit. I yield myself to your will, to your words. All of me, none of you. Not I mean, all of you, none of me. Ooh. I yield myself to you, Holy Spirit. What is the guiding word that you need to hear that, the, that you want to tell the Capricorns today? What is the message? What is the healing message that you want to tell the Capricorns today? Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are, well, Jesus is the shepherd and I am the sheep and a voice of a stranger I will not follow. I hear you speak. I open my ears to you, Holy Spirit. What is the guiding word that you want to hear? I welcome only the Holy Spirit. 
in this place. I yield myself to be a conduit between you, Holy Spirit, and the Capricorns this day. For this week, what is the message you have for Capricorn? I thank you that you are giving me the message this day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So we're doing a... nine card spread with no significator the Holy Spirit said this one should be first then that one oh I'm sorry there we go then this then that this is the way we go to church go to church go to church <laughs> no this is not how we go to church this is the way these cards should lay, they should lay, they should lay. <laughs> and I want to make sure I'm getting the full decks. I was watching an old uh, uh, previous video, not an old video, but a previous video, and I noticed that they weren't, the full deck was not on, wasn't showing on the video, so... That's my goal. God's willing, soon I'll be able to get a better camera and get some lessons on how to do better angles so that you're getting the full view of the cards and have better quality videos. But this is a new channel, so. This is new, this is new, this is all new, y'all. Okay. Ah, we're going to be talking about your money. That's the topic here. So we're going to be talking about your money or power or success for you. Maybe you're going into a new position. Uh, you'll be getting new resources of money or you'll be closing out old sources of money money or uh, the energy of money. Ten is like the beginning and the ending of a cycle. Uh, ten is um, ten is uh, I'm sorry I got a little distracted. Uh, ten is a uh, uh, representative of success and or failure, ending and beginning cycles, evolution, jubilee. You know, um, just a side note as the Holy Spirit is pulling out of this deck the rest of your spread as I shuffle. Okay, there you go. <laughs> um, as I continue to shuffle through for cards. Um, <laughs> I said, oh, you for a minute, you didn't have nothing to say. It's Holy Spirit. Now you just let everything is flying out. Um, about 10, the year of Jubilee in the Hebrew, um, as I learned, and I, I did go to... Uh, Bible school and I'm not talking about like at your church you have Bible school at your church I'm talking about like I went to the school of ministry for a short period of time and the school the tenth year every ten years is Jubilee this is when debts are canceled you're celebrating you're starting it's like it was a it's a freshman start for Jubilee okay and um that's why the 10 is Jubilee. The 10th year is Jubilee. So you may be celebrating. You may be coming to an end of a cycle um, here. So we're going to be talking about a cycle in this regarding your finances. Um, possibly your finances, some material things, um, where you are, your energy level. Maybe you're getting a fresh new burst of energy um, to put into your business. Or, 
to your job. You have a, a renewed love for your job or maybe you have a renewed energy. Um, spring is starting for some of us. <laughs> spring is starting soon. So, uh, and this is the beginning of March, Capricorn. So you may be starting a brand new feeling refreshed, you know, rested at the end of March. So, um, that's very interesting. So let's get into the full spread. And, oh, so the center card is your topic. And the seven of clubs, this right corner is your outcome. And your outcome is a seven. Now, seven is a very spiritual very, um, number, a metaphysical number, psychology, um, self-awareness, solitude, meditation. This is a very spiritual card. So your outcome, whatever is happening, whatever is beginning or happening here, is going. the outcome is going to be that you're going to have... Um, Something spiritual, maybe uh, uh, an improvement in your businesses or your employment or in transportation. We don't know yet. Let's get in. We're going to get into the rest of this reading, okay? So, as we see here, um, I, I'm receiving downloads. Now, as I have my hand on the seven of clubs, mm. Mm. be careful of becoming a workaholic. Looks like here your your top we're talking we're gonna be talking about your money and I see a lot of clubs in your car in your reading like almost everything is talking about either your business or your job or uh, something in the arena or maybe even your social life. Okay, and what I'm receiving from the Holy Spirit is to be careful to not become a workaholic trying to make this happen like your outcome could be you, you can put in hard work but you can possibly become a workaholic there's a lot of stuff going into your you you, you rest I just I, I just seen a reel by this young man I, I think I follow him, but I see him on Instagram, and he did a reel, a short video that says, take your PTO, and I just, that moment, because that business don't worry about you, I, I saw that video, if you are working for someone, Capricorn, take your PTO, because that job don't care about you, take time off. Capricorn. Rest. And this will come. All of this is going to happen. You need to rest. Just, just let it come to you. It's coming to you. You attract morning money, Capricorn. You are a sign of the zodiac that attracts money. Name a time, Capricorn, you didn't have a job. It's never lasted very long. You always attracted money or an opportunity to make money. Always, always, always. Sometimes just let it come to you. Sometimes it comes knocking on your door. Now, what would be funny if someone knocked on my door right now? <laughs> With an opportunity because I am, my sun sign is a Capricorn. Your queen prophetess is a Capricorn. So, um... Relax. And you, oh, Holy Spirit, glory. All I need is these two cards right here. It said relax, and this will come. Okay? Relax, my Capricorn. You need to take a chill pill. Okay? Relax. 
you hear the, 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 the waterfall or the water, the, the, the sound of the water going down the little uh, river or the, um, not lake, uh, stream of water that you're hearing. Get into that. Relax. Take a walk. It's a beautiful day in, in the A right now. Um, go out. Take On your lunch break, if you're working somewhere, go and walk. Go out. Take a walk for your lunch. You know what I'm saying? Sit down, breathe, meditate, um, but rest. That doesn't mean don't do anything. It means relax. Just, you know, just rest in that things is just going to be done. Okay? Um, and more clarity on the Ten of Diamonds here. Um, this is a career card. As I said, relax. Your career, if you are concerned about your career, um, we're going to be talking more about it. God, doggone it, Jesus. Boy, <laughs> you know, it's just amazing because sometimes it's like, oh, and when you see it, I just saw it. Look at all these, all this. This is about your work, your business, your career. Um, contracts is coming in. And this is a career card. So we darn sure, and, and look at all these clubs, and clubs, again, is about work, it's about business, it's about your social contract, legal, whatever. Maybe your job is in a law firm, maybe your job is in, um, your, you have a new, you have a business, and a lot is about to happen um, starting this week, or when you hear this video. It is meant for you now to let you know that it's you about to blow up for real in your business. And it looks right here now. I put my the spirit landed my hand on this two of clubs. Now the two of clubs, that means it's gonna maybe you're gonna have a business partner. Um, you'll be presented with a business partner. That's why you need to relax. You need whoa, Holy Spirit, thank you. Um, you need a business partner. So that you aren't working, becoming a workaholic and working hard. You need to work smarter, not harder, Capricorn. And I know you ain't afraid of good hard work. We ain't afraid. Us Capricorns aren't afraid of hard work. Okay. But you can wear yourself out. Trying to do everything yourself. Okay. You need a business partner so a uh, business mm, 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 mm. accept help accept help that's what the Holy Spirit is telling me for you with this two of clubs so that you won't burn yourself out and you can relax the two of clubs is business partnership a friend, assistance, okay, maybe you need to look for help, seek help, like go on Upwork and get you a virtual assistant to help do some of the, the administrative work for your business, yes, 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 oh, that Yes, if you, I'm really feeling like you, you need assistance or maybe you need to partner with someone or you will be partnered with someone that is going to help you out to be able to kind of relax and chill. Now, it could be that at your job, if you are employed by someone, it's not your business, even though I feel really strongly about business. Here, like you are a sole proprietor or you have an LLC, you have a business, you need help to get it off the ground or whatever the situation is. But uh, employer, if you're an employee, maybe your work has increased. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure your work has increased because this um, three of clubs represents increase in work. Okay, um, work increase. Business is increasing. Okay, 
little bit by little bit, but it's still, no, no, oh, Holy Spirit, your business is about to increase, and you need the help, or your work responsibility is about to increase, you're going to have more work to do, you'll have growth opportunity here, that's what the three of clubs represents, that you're going to have either work increase, if you're employed, business increase if you have your own business. Mm. If you're a student, I never, you know what I noticed that a lot of other people don't, but if you're a student, you may get more, um, uh, you may have a lot of school work to do. Because you may be a student. Because that came to me too. You may be a student and you need help understanding your, maybe you need help not to do your homework for you, but to help you on the project. Maybe you need to go seek assistance. Like I have the paper written out. Okay. I just need someone to type it up for me. Now that I'm telling your queen is telling my age right now. But, you know, I'm talking about that. Like, you may have already did the groundwork of it and you just needed to be cleaned up here. Okay. Or you needed to be organized. Seek help, though. Because it's, it's about to increase. You're going to need assistance organizing your life or whatever. But you're going to need assistance because it's about to increase big time. And you're going to need someone to help you out. You can't do everything, Capricorn. You can't do everything. Now we have the three of diamonds over here, which means with that increased business or work, or um, you're going to get a little more money is coming in. Just, just a teach. Just a little teach. Okay. You may... Um, see that you're finding success a little you may start seeing the increase of the success that's going on in your business you, you see the a little bit of an uptick in and um selling of your products or an uptick in if you are a youtuber or a content creator a little bit of uptick in the viewership you're starting to see you're starting to see a little bit of success from all your hard work here all your hard work here, all this hard work you're putting in, you're starting to see a little bit of success there. People watching your videos, child. You know, people, your name is starting to get a little buzz in, in the content creating area or your business or your employment. Or it's like, oh, they're going to start, they might give you a little bump. They might get you a little, maybe you'll get um, a, a bonus because of something that you did. Okay, um, because of all the hard work you're putting in, you're getting bonus. And it's the Holy Spirit said once you get that help, they're going to help you clean it up and present a more professional package. Because um, Three of Clubs also represent a three way deal. No, I'm sorry. No, the diamonds is a three-way deal. So maybe um, with the help that you'll be receiving for this project at work or the help for the school project or for your business, it's, going, it's a three-way deal and, you know, happily because it's going your, your business is about to increase. And you'll have it to pay that employer, I mean that employee business owners, you, some of your business owners need to go ahead and get you some help. Go ahead and hire some help. Okay? you gonna, The money coming in. The money coming. Okay? Hire some help. Okay? Don't be Scrooge McDuck and be holding on to your money. The money is going to increase with the help. Because then you'll be able to produce more or you'll be able to do more. and you Or if you're creative, you'll be able to rest. So you can come up with more creative ideas. 
So, um, and creativity comes and things come to you as a cardinal sign. Well, not even just the cardinal sign, but okay, sorry, technical difficulties. <laughs> sorry about that, my Capricorns, technical difficulties. My mic dropped to the floor, but um, <clears throat> you'll get. With that help, you'll be able to present a better business or project or work and you're all going to shine and you'll be splitting, you know, you're going to be sharing the shine, the money or whatever with someone. So the money is going to come in because you got this help for this increased work. Okay. Um... Before we go into any other things, let's let's address this one little bitty, but you might a problem. This is a challenge or hurdle that you'll be um, here with the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. Now, I normally do not read in cartomancies uh, like in tarot. You have certain things in the reverse, but in this case. This spade is upside down here. So you may not, because spades represents challenges, hurdles, issues, problems, um, or solving of problems. So it's not a hard decision. For the Ace of Spades, it's, it usually Ace is a, the beginning of something, uh, the beginning of or the start of something, uh, an entry point, uh, may just represent an individual. But because this is Spades and it's talking about challenges, so you may be beginning to see some challenges. But because this Spade is upside down. And I would say this is probably the only card that I would read in a reversed state. Um, and I'm, I, I, I'm going to Say that this ace of spades it represents is decision making because the ace if it was upright it would be making a difficult decision that's why I said when I first mentioned it that it's not a hard decision get help it's not it, it's not even it's it's not you need help get it it's not going to be a hard decision just pick somebody to help you out Capricorn you can you help me if you have a business just go to upwards and, and get somebody put the post out there to say i mean register as a an, um someone who's looking for the help post it out there someone's going to respond ask them the questions that you need to to see if they would be a good fit easy decision just go and seek help um, I wouldn't, I, I don't do Craigslist like that, you know what I'm saying? But off up there's many uh, um, sites out there where you can seek help. If it is, if, if you have designs, get a, someone help or, or you need designs for your business or logo or if you need paperwork, seek help for that. Okay? If you have a major project, ask your, your manager or your supervisor, whoever's giving you the, the project, can I get a team to help me do this? Okay. Can I get someone to help me because of this? The, the, just go ahead and have you. They want you to win. Just go ahead and get it. You're going to, and, and, and it's going to yield a great three-way deal between you, whoever helped you, 
and your employer or your business or whatever is going to be a win-win situation all around okay so there is not even a that's not a, it's not it's an easy choice so go ahead and do that now let's go ahead and look at the six of clubs um six is a, 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 a very, it's, it represents responsibility and communication and job well done and stuff like that. And because it is the club, which is in your work and business and social, you're going to have work responsibilities. You're increasing. Things is going to uh, increase. Maybe you speak, that's why, you know what, maybe the, I was thinking, um, I said something about content creating. The six of uh, clubs also represents communication and speaking for work. So maybe you are a podcaster or a vlogger or you're a YouTuber or a content creator where you talk a lot like myself. Um, so... That's why you may need help, especially if you're a content creator. You might need someone to help you um, do the camera work or do post your videos or edit your videos or whatever. So seek out some help, child. Or maybe you need to learn, but someone either seek it out or it's coming to you. Okay? Um... Mm. But you're getting her done, though, with this help. You're getting her done. You're getting it. Oh, uh, you know what Holy Spirit said? You may be helping someone else, too. If you're not the one with the business or you're not needing help at your work, you might be the help. You may be the help. And it'll be a part of this three-way deal. That's why you will get... You're going to get some type of increase for helping someone else out. That's also the option, too. Um, you're going to have a hand in. Um, you're going to. You may. You're getting things. That, I would say you're, you're having a hand in it, but that's that would be a five of clubs. But it, the you're taking responsibility for your part in it. Which you will, you will be credited. Oh, Holy Spirit. Come on in here. You'll be credited with helping out. If you're the help, you will be a cre you'll be credited as part of this project. And you're gonna get you're gonna be a part of the three-way deal. If that is your situation, if you're a business um and you work, you know, just kind of protect your throat chakra, drink lots of water. Um You may be some maybe your advice maybe your help will be come in the form of an advice of advice from a mentor or someone who is doing what you're doing. Um that help is a child. You better go ahead. Oh. No, someone has told you how you can get the help that you need. Oh girl. Just go to the, the um, this and, and that, and they'll help you do boom, boom, and boom. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Okay, that's all. This Holy Spirit wants out of this six of clubs. The seven. Oh, well, we already know that the seven, but we're going to go a little bit more into the income. Outcome, I'm sorry. Uh, see, see you're about to get some income. The spirit said, let's get into this outcome card, this right corner card. Again, we've addressed it. I'm sorry. Holy Spirit has already said, girl, you've already talked about that. Move on to the nine of clubs. So let's look at this nine of clubs and um, what do you have for us? I feel like, hmm, not even feel, the spirit is saying, yeah, 
because this is your career card, you're gonna be, you're gonna have positive vibes, good luck. This is a good luck in business card. Um, this is a good luck card. So your business is about to blow up, Capricorns, or you're about to blow up at your job. Okay. Don't forget to thank those who helped you. Okay. Credit those people that helped you. Okay. That's just what I feel like. Um, for some of you, you may be traveling for business. Um, no. No. I, I was about to say maybe this time you need time and distance from what you're doing, but that's not what it is. I feel like maybe you'll be traveling for business, but oh, if you're giving a proposal or if you are um, pitching your product, the, your pitch is going to go very well. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going to go very, very well for you, Capricorn. Mm. Yes, yes. It's going to go well for you. You're going to get so much. You're going to be blessed. You're going to know exactly what to say in this proposal. For If it's your business, if it's your job. And you, you're, you, the project is that you have to gather information, whatever, and then present it. It's going to go very well. You tr just rest that you know you will say the right thing. You'll say the right thing. You're tremendously blessed. You'll say the right thing, Capricorn. The right words. Don't worry about if you'll mess up or say just pray about it before you go in to pitch your deal or your project or your idea or you present your project. Whatever it is this week, Capricorn, you'll do fine. Relax. You've done the due diligence. You've done the research. You, your, you know, that your help, whoever is assisting you has given you good, great assistance. Everything is fine. Relax. And go in there confidently. I'm telling you, be confident because you already won. Before you walk in there, you are already got it. What belongs for you is you. It's for you. Okay. You'll say the right words. Now, Holy Spirit says, it doesn't matter what you say. It already belongs to you. Go in there knowing that, confident that what God has for you, he has for you. You go and present it, yield yourself to the Holy Spirit, and he'll give you the words to say. Okay? No worries. You're already blessed. You're already anointed. You are already empowered to prosper. I'm telling you, you are already empowered to prosper. You were blessed when you left. You were blessed when you came in that office. You were blessed when you woke up this morning. You were blessed on that highway going in to uh, present this project or pitch this deal. You're blessed right now, Capricorns. Go, go in there with your head held high. Okay? All right. Now, lastly, we want to talk about this Ten of Clubs, which I can only imagine is great for you. So I'm feeling like there may be some great success in your business or for you. Um, this is the beginning of a new journey. So you're going to pitch this deal and it's going to come out well. You're going to have they're going to say, well, we're going to get your product. And we want 10,000 bibbity bots, whatever you're selling. Or, um, okay, we'll take you up on that and we will accept, we, we choose you to do this project. Okay. And it's going to be the beginning of an amazing journey 
for you. Um, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. This card, this Ten of Club represents major business transaction. Major business transaction. That means you go, like I told you, you already got it going in this week. So don't worry about it. Do your research. Do your work. Do the work. Do the work. Get the help. You know, y'all work together and it's going to yield you great success. Great success. You already won. It's already done. Okay. But do the work, but don't overwork. You need to help. Get some help, Capricorn. That's all I can say to you is get some help. So now let's do the one card draw of... Um, The one card draw of the Black Tarot deck here. I'm just, let me pull this into the to the screen here. Let's move this spread over here so you can look it up. And let's pull that a little closer so it's it's in the frame. And oh, what we want. Hmm. I'm sorry for the long, I'm just kind of listening for the Holy Spirit on um, we're asking, I'm going to do a quick shuffle, a quick, just a quick little shuffle, Holy Spirit. What is the mess? What do they need to know before we go? Here, the final word is what do you want to tell us, Capricorn? Mm hmm. This is, this came out the hangman. In reverse, the hangman in reverse, and the hangman in and, and for these cards, it does, it's not in reverse, it's really in the yin or the yang. So, this is in the yang, I believe. So, let's look up the hangman. The hangman. in the yin uh so for me for you it looks like it is upright but for me it's coming out like that so it is in the yin so the hangman is uncertainty stalemate maybe that the, a woman this does a picture of a woman doing aerial yoga in nature she is serene, embracing new concepts and perspectives within and with and outside herself. It is time to readjusting and recentering. The hangman asks you to surrender and accept the situation. She suggests that we lean into our intuition, trust the process okay when the hangman card is pulled it is time to consider the following when is the last time you made a worthy sacrifice for the greater good do you listen to your gut feelings do you allow yourself and others to change 
your or their mind. So, um, you notice that there's poppy flowers here. It's the element of water. The crown chakra. In the yin, this means in this, maybe it is an indecision, stelling, delays, resistance, trouble, negative patterns and cycles, discontentment and detachment. To align it correctly, take solo time, do a spiritual cleanse. I choose patience and grace. The affirmation for you is I choose patience and grace towards myself and others as we work towards our higher selves. So with that said, as I was reading the meaning of the hangman in the yin, again, see, it's not a hard decision. I think you're making it harder than it is. It's not a hard decision. Help is there for you and success is there. You need to relax. As I said, the outcome is that you're going to need to relax. Don't, don't become a workaholic with this um, seven. Chill. You, you need to take some time out. As it says again, how you align yourself again is by taking some time out. Take your PTO Capricorns. I said that earlier in the video. Take your PTO. Creativity is born out of just taking some me time. Go outside. Listen to the birds chirping. Walk by the stream of water. If you have that availability, if you live in an area where there's a beach, walk on the beach for your lunch break. Or before you go home, stop by and just chill and relax. Some of you might need to take up some yoga. Do some yoga this morning or today at some point. And just chill, relax, and let it flow. Everything is going to work out. You're going, you, got, you already got it. Rest in knowing that God already put you in a position of success. That's all I have for you, Capricorns. You all have a great week, and I will see you next week for your weekly reads. And if this hit home, say something in the comments. I'd love to hear from anyone who watches this video. Hey, what do you think about the reading? Is there something I might be able to improve? Um, as a Capricorn, do you think you can help me do better angles for this? I am open for any assistance or suggestions, even criticisms, so that I can better give you a better readings, better uh, video quality, and that's what I, I aim to do. So you all have a great week, and I will see you next week on the Queen Prophetess channel for your weekly read. Bye.